What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tactical Tortoise. My name is Trevi, and this is another episode in my Warhammer 40k tutorial series. This one is going to be about building your army in Tabletop Simulator and how you can get it to do all of the cool things that you see on stream. So let's talk about it. So in previous videos in the series, I've talked about how to download the Warhammer 40k mods, as well as how to build a list on Battlescribe. And you're going to need to do both of those before you get into this video, because what we're going to be doing is taking our list from Battlescribe and putting it directly onto Tabletop Simulator. Now, what we're going to need to do this is an app on Tabletop Simulator called Battlescribe to TTS. I mean, it kind of does what it says on the tin. It takes Battlescribe and, and moves it to TTS. There's two ways you can get it. The first one, if you have downloaded the Battlefort mod catalog like we talked about previously, it is in the Tools folder right here in Maps, Tools, and Terrain. You can click on Tools, and here it is Battlescribe to TTS. You can load it right there. The other way is to find it on the Steam Workshop. So if we go to Browse and we look, uh, you can actually subscribe to it right here. And if you click on that, that will also bring you to the same mod. They'll, they do the same thing regardless of where you load it from. It doesn't really matter. And that brings you to this page. From here, what we're going to need to generate is a special code that we'll submit in this field. And you'll do that by going to the website, battlescribe2tts.net, just like I have right there. Now, this is a special website specifically for this mod. There's a little bit of tutorial information here. Uh, it doesn't really tell you everything that you can do, or it's a little bit confusing. But we'll talk about all of the cool things that this mod does to your models and the way you can use the tools that it gives you. Uh, later in the video. Now to generate our special code, what we'll need to do is upload a roster that we've saved using Battlescribe. So I have all my rosters saved here in one folder so I can get them really easily. And let's grab the Space Wolves list that we made in the Battlescribe video. So this is a 1000 point Space Wolves list. You upload it and you click OK and it uh, generates you a code for your roster. Now all you're going to want to do is copy that and then paste it directly into the field right here. Now we're going to click Submit Code, and that brings up a list of all of the models in your army. So what it does is it essentially takes every profile from every one of your data sheets in Battlescribe and just pastes them right here. Now what the mod needs us to do is associate a Battlescribe asset with the model that we're going to use on the table. So there's a couple ways to get at the models that you're, you want to use. The easiest one, I think, is just to go into another uh the file that you're looking for and save each of the models as an object we talked about doing this in the installing 40k tts video and here is the tactical marine that we uh that we saved there he's got a multi melta and you can just spawn him directly into this game from the saved objects menu so that way if you have a lot of units or models that you use pretty often you can save those in a bundle and you can just spawn them every time you go to build an army that's a pretty good way of doing it the other way which i also like to do especially if i play a, a bunch of different factions is you can go into each of the individual file sets here and you can expand them so we, we want the space wolves one so what we're going to do is click on the drop down menu here and click expand now, what this is going to do is give us a list of every single model that is included in that file. So all we need to do here is look for the ones that we want. So we have a chaplain in our army. So let's look for a chaplain. Here we go. Here's a chaplain. We just have a foot chaplain. So we'll grab this guy. Boom. There's our chaplain. And we'll just go through and down the list and spawn every single model that we want. Now, the Space Wolves file right here doesn't have every single model that I want, but fortunately we have a couple, We have a Space Wolf-specific file in the Adeptus Astartes folder in the Battleforge mod collection, so we can expand that as well to grab the rest of the stuff that we want. So here we have all of my models saved. Now, I'm uh, cutting a couple corners here. Because the file that I have doesn't have Primaris models in it, I'm actually going to go ahead and proxy the Blade Guard veterans that we put in the list. And I have some Honor Guard models here that were included in the file, and we're going to convert them to be our Blade Guard veterans. So what we're just going to do is actually grab another handy tool from the mod pack. We're going to grab this base size chart so we can 
open it up and spawn it in. And this is something useful to do, even if you just want to check your base size. And it has a scaled series of bases, so you can just make sure that all of your base sizes are correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale up these Honor Guard models to be our Blade Guard veterans. Now, there are some mods with some really nice uh, Blade Guard veteran models in them that you can use. And, and I'll have links to those in the new player resources over on the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, there's a link down in the description and you can go check that out. Uh, I'm going to probably just start linking every 40K TTS mod that I think is very is, uh, nice. And the way we're going to scale it, there's two ways to do it. Either we can right click on the model and we can use the scale function here to scale up or down, or you can hover your mouse over it and uh, press the minus or plus keys, and that will just change his size slightly. He's got a big chunky body now because he's a Primaris guy, so that works pretty well. So just scaling up the uh, the regular sized mini marines uh, until they're Primaris sized works pretty well. Just make sure because a lot of them are on 32 millimeter bases, so don't scale up the 32 millimeters because that will be big. That will be too bad. Um, but if you have the guys that are on the two small bases, like you can use them for Primaris characters pretty well. Now all we need to do is click on each of the units in turn in this chart here and click on the model that we want to use as that unit. So our chaplain is going to be this guy. Our captain is going to be this guy over here with the thunder hammer. This incursor is going to be this dude. Here's the incursor sergeant. We got blood claws and the pack leader, blade guard veterans. The sergeant will have a cape. Our big wolf and dreadnought so once we've associated all of the profiles with our different models each of the entries will turn purple after you do it correctly so they're all going to be purple and we're just going to go from there and click create army so this usually takes a couple minutes it lags a little bit when it does this so here we go here's our space force army now the coolest things about battle described to tts are what it does to your profile so as we can hover over here the standard tool tips that the models have usually include some stats for them but you can sort of ignore these a lot of times they're older edition so it doesn't really matter but what battlescribe to tts does is it takes that tooltip and it puts in the data sheet directly from battlescribe so we can see here our incursors have their bull carbines listed they have their paired combat blades listed they have their bull pistol crack grenades all that stuff and even better if we hover, hover over any of our models and we press on our number pad so down in the right hand side of your keyboard we press number one it will actually bring up essentially that model's entire data sheet. So we can see what all of their abilities do. We can see what their special sub-faction abilities do. So we have Savage Fury listed there for our Space Wolf sub-faction. And we can see what all of our weapon profiles look like. So this is an easy way both players can access this. So you can reference your own rules and your opponent can use it to reference your rules as well. And for this reason, a lot of times Battle Scrub and TTS is required for competitive play because it makes the, it just cleans up the game so much. It makes it easy to look at all of the equipment somebody has and what all the equipment does. And you can just hover over them and see how many wounds you have. You can see there in the uh, two slash two means they have two out of two wounds remaining. And even better, it also adds some really cool hotkeys and tools onto your models that you can use during the game, which is super useful. Now, it's not a perfect mod. And unfortunately, uh, we can see that our, our Wolf and Dreadnought got duplicated here. That does happen sometimes. And sometimes it will add models to units, especially if you have a unit-wide upgrade. It will uh, read that as a separate data sheet. Uh, it's a little inconsistent, but just make sure that your list is correct. Just do a visual inspection. And we can just pull one of these guys out. It's not really going to change anything. I think his war gear might be a little bit messed up, but that's not the end of the world. So now let's talk about exactly what Battlescribe to TTS does for your army and uh, all the cool things you can do with it. If you have a multi-model unit, one thing that you can do by pressing one for that menu again is select one of the colors at the bottom of the screen here. Now this does two things. First, it colors everyone in that unit the same color. So if you have multiple identical units, you can keep them differentiated by giving them an outline. This also shows up as long as it's active through terrain and things. So it's easy to keep track of your model when they're um, behind stuff. So we can even see, you know, if this guy was inside a building, we could see that he was there and it's harder to forget them. The other thing that this does is it turns off as soon as a model is out of coherency. So these guys are within two inches of each other, so it's fine. But as soon as I move this guy away, you can see that his blue outline turns off because he's not in coherency anymore. And for larger units, this even tracks coherency if you are within two inches of two models. So it doesn't just use the old coherency rules. It's actually been updated to the ninth edition coherency rules as well. Now, the other thing that we can do here is by pressing one and two on the data sheet, we can edit the number of wounds that this model has. So two decreases the number of wounds. So we can see we're changing one to two and then he'd be dead. 
and three increases the number of wounds. So for some reason, we can get more than our starting value. We can increase it or decrease it with a hotkey. That makes it really easy to take damage and track damage on your models, and especially large models like a big dreadnought. This guy will track damage really easily as you take it during the game, and you don't have to go in and edit the tooltip manually. Now, the last thing that Battlescribe to TTS does is it creates these auras around your models, and you can measure specific distances uh, around their base. You do this by pressing the four or five keys on your number pad, four to increase the size of the aura, five to decrease the size of the aura while you're hovering over the model that you're trying to put the aura on. You can also change the color of the aura in the menu, just like we did with the highlight, by pressing one when hovering over the unit and clicking one of the colors down there. This is super useful, especially for deep striking. So as soon as somebody wants to deep strike, you can just make a big nine inch aura around all the guys in front of your army so you can see exactly where you could push them. So I could put a deep striking unit right here, for example. This is also good for auras. So if I wanna make sure that my models are in my captain's rights of battle aura, I could just put a circle around him and ensure that everyone's inside that circle. And then we're good to go. It measures the most accurately when you're in a top down view perspective. And I'm going to talk about how to set your view perspectives and the differences between them in a future video. Well, unfortunately we can't do a uh, highlight like we do it on the Azun cursors on the character models. You need to have two, at least two models in the unit. We can change the color of his aura by changing the color on the, the menu here. And you just need to bump it one time to, to have it refresh and, and adopt that color. But you can have a color associated with each of your uh, different characters. So if we wanted to have the chaplain be, I don't know, yellow, then him and aura for all of his, uh, his litanies. Now, if you do have a model with a weird base, sometimes the collider of the model, or essentially what is uh, me you're measuring off of when you measure to it, is a little bit different than their actual base size. The six and seven keys on your number pad to change the type of base that you're using. So you can see, it looks like we're, me we're trying to measure off a 25 millimeter base here for this Wolf and Dreadnought. That's clearly wrong. So we can use the seven to cycle through a bunch of different base sizes and shapes. And now he's measuring correctly. That's especially good for bikers, especially like bikers with big bases. Sometimes their uh, their base collider is messed up and you can cycle through some good ones. In vehicles that don't really have an even shape, you can just pick the one that is closest to the vehicle's actual hull size, hull dimensions to uh, to measure an aura off of. Now, there's a couple things you should not do with Battlescribe to TCS if you're using it. The first one is delete models in Tabletop Simulator. Delete models by hovering over them and pressing the backspace key, and they'll just be gone forever. Unfortunately, the scripting for Battlescribe to TTS kind of messes up if you delete it, and it can really slow down and sometimes crash the game if you end up deleting models. So if you are using Battlescribe to TTS, do not delete your models. And also, try not to copy and paste your models. Unfortunately, what happens if you copy them, it can, in some circumstances, actually double your keystroke when you're trying to use those hot. So if we copy this Wolf and Dreadnought over here, and now if I press four or five to increase or decrease its aura, it's actually going to measure two inches because it thinks that you're hitting it twice, even though you're only hitting it once. So that is uh, pretty unfortunate. So try not to copy and paste that stuff and also try not to, uh, to delete the models either. There's also a slight issue where if you start with a unit that's above five models and then you start losing them obviously you're going to pull them out of coherency so a lot of times that can break the coherency chain that that they're measuring and even if you get reduced below five models it will often still measure you as a unit above five so you'll just have to manually check coherency at that point it won't uh, it won't really do it for you now a lot of people play off a laptop and they don't necessarily have a numpad to access these so what you can do is you can actually change the uh, uh, keystroke input to uh, access all of the, the hotkeys that Battlescribe to TTS uses in the scripting section of your controls menu under your configuration menu on the, uh, the menu up here. All of these tools are just scripts that have been built onto the model, so you can change them by changing your normal script hotkey over on the side here. So for example, if we wanted to change the side or what, what creates our aura, so this is the hotkey that would normally create an aura here. We're gonna do it on the num line. And now if I press it on the num line, you can see that we've uh, we've created an aura. So you can just go ahead and, and change those inputs to wherever on your keyboard you want. But otherwise, Battlescribe to TTS is a super useful tool when playing Tabletop Simulator. It makes it really easy to reference people's statistics. It makes it really easy to show off your wounds and auras. It makes measuring and playing the game so much simpler. And it also just generates your army for you. So you can make sure that you have, you know, the correct stuff with the correct war gear in all of your units and you don't have to keep track of it manually. It's a giant time saver. I highly recommend it. And most of the time it's uh, basically required to play. 
I do hope that this tutorial was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if it was, and stay tuned for more tutorial videos on Warhammer 40K on Tabletop Simulator and using Tabletop Simulator in general. As I said before, come join us in the Discord. There's a link down in the description. We play 40K all the time online, and it's super duper fun. We have lots of competitions. We have the T5S2 Season 2 Invitational going right now, which is some of the most competitive 40K ever and it's being played online, and it's super cool. Also, a big thanks to my patrons over at patreon.com slash tacticaltortoise. Those folks are awesome. You can join them at that link that I just said, and you get early access to videos and some extra content and videos and stuff like that. It's pretty good. And I really appreciate everyone who uh, helps me out over there. So thanks for watching. Remember to keep it classy, folks, and have happy wargaming.